Just a quick tip today, I'm gonna to show you how you do it. So I've got this click track programmed in here and I want to export that as an audio file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring up the console view down here and on the right hand side here, we can see we've got the metronome and the master and uh, the little drop down box here, the output, I'm just gonna select that and select new aux track. And what that does is it creates a new aux track, which the metronome is patched straight to. So then all we have to do is arm it for recording and then return to zero and record it into that aux track like so. Tune. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically all there is to it. You now have an audio version of that click track. If I switch off the metronome, you can hear it still plays. So then now you're free to export it just normally as an audio file in any file format that you wish. And that's that. Someone recently asked me how you do this and uh, I use it quite a lot when I have a click track with different tempo changes or in this case, lots of extremely annoying time signature changes. So yeah, that is how to create and export an audio version of your click track in the DAW known as Cakewalk by BandLab. And if you'd like me to get more into how to program these more complicated click tracks with different time signatures and tempos and things, I'd be happy to make a video on that. So let me know in the comments down below and I'll, I'll do that. Yep, bye.